Hello, my Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, all placements. So, I'm going to do some what's the vibe messages just to check on your energy to see what it is you have going on. Just to see what it is that you need to know what's coming in. I don't know. Just what's the vibe with my Libra? What's been happening? You got to take several seats here. Getting on your nerves, annoying as fuck. So somebody could definitely been getting under your skin. This could be you though. You could be annoying to somebody too. Um, I'm also seeing here Ponzi scheme too big. It's going to fail. Cutting artist schemer. So it's like somebody could be um, putting on or acting as if they got more than what they do. Can produce more than what they can. I'm hearing pyramid scheme as well. Now, I'm not really familiar with exactly what a pyramid scheme is, but I do know it does not work in the favor of no one outside of the originator of it. I see divorce here too. So someone is possibly going through a separation or just finally calling it equipped with a marriage that's been going on for a long time and it's like you could have been together for a few years and out of those few years you've only really been happy genuinely a few times so i feel like a couple of you are asking yourself like what is it that i'm doing here why was i here in the first place so it's like y'all clearing out old negative energy this could also just be like you finally addressing the issues with things from your past since you've been single for a while so that you can open yourself up to receive new love coming in. I apologize because I'm kind of um, talking slow. Like my breathing has still been different since that fall. Man, y'all hitting the steps was... If you ask me, not in my plans, that hurts so bad. Like, that that really hurts, so I apologize for that. You do have someone who could be financially using you. Or you could have too many expenses and you need to cut back. It's a bit of a both situation here. Some of you are dealing with somebody who's only um, around or interested in you or act like they care about you because of your finances and there's an, a, a, another half of you who needs to cut back on some expenses because certain things are unnecessary and it's, it's it's taking you down it's not helping you progress forward the way that you want to yeah spirit is talking about naivety like being naive financially being a big spender but actually having no money allowing others to uh, take from you or being generous when you know you don't have that's that's another thing it's like being generous when you don't have it it does not like really assure that you're going to receive a big blessing one second i feel like i have to sneeze <coughs> oh gosh bless me but um as i was saying being generous when you don't have it does not guarantee you a blessing that's that's not what that's going to do it's really setting out the energy that um vibrationally speaking you you're not um aware of your own situation and you're still willing to put others before you like it's okay to want to help someone but do not help them when you can barely help yourself you have to I'm sorry, no. It's it's a strong no. It's like I'm sorry, no, I can't do it as much as I would like to. It's just not gonna no, 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 no. Um, that's where a lot of you are suffering here, helping out those that you love, knowing you still need to fend for yourself. Don't do that. Cause I ain't gonna lie, even with some of y'all dealing with these people, they when they when they do have extra money in their pocket, I I'm they the first thing that they gonna first some somebody they gonna take care of is themselves and you need to take heed to that like you need to pay attention to how others uh pour to themselves before anything else like baby they ain't worried about checking for you yeah be careful now once you start in um incorporating this into how you just navigate and 
<laughs> what am I looking for? Because I just, I really lost it. I do apologize one second. Okay, so when you start incorporating that energy of, I took care of me, now I can be of service to others, that's when you can really toast and celebrate to life. It's like you have your financial, your roof, your security blanket, your everything is secure, your cup is full, it's in overflow. Now that you're back in overflow, you're able to pour into someone else. You have to stop pouring from a source that is not full. It's like the cup is empty as fuck, and as soon as you get one, two, three little droplets in there, you ready to give it away. Spirit is it's, stop that shit. I am. Stop it. <laughs> Stop giving away. <laughs> Stop giving away what's being given to you so that you can make it to this next level. Do not they say stop wasting time. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. Like I ain't I don't have to make it up. Like literally stop doing it. Somebody financially using you, then you still being naive financially because you got a big heart. Like you can't be doing that out here. Spirit really wants you to stop wasting time. You gotta you gotta stop doing this. I feel like some of you starting families, wanting to grow your family, the main provider of the family. Baby, you can't you can't be out here doing things like that. That's not going to get you ahead. Yeah, it's not going to get you ahead. Once you stop wasting time, once you let go of things that does not serve you, you open yourself up to receive new opportunities. 818 on the clock, as I'm saying this, to explore new opportunities and for like a whole new breath of fresh air to reach you finally. Like you stop putting up that wall and crawls in a box to where you sweating and like me almost out of oxygen can't breathe and you allow God to help you tear that down to open it up and for you to see like okay it's more to what it is that I've been doing because it hasn't been serving me and although I felt like I was doing the right thing I was still treating myself so wrong and in this season moving forward I refuse to do that to show someone that I love them and I care for them because I'm telling myself I don't love me and care for me enough and at the end in the beginning of any day the right people that really love you and meant to be around you would never want you to pour nothing from your cup that you do not have and if they know that they are overflowing they will pour into you because they will not want to see you down okay you need to stop surrounding yourself with these people friends family lovers whoever i don't care how long they've been in your life stop surrounding yourself with these people that only take from you because they know that you really not even enough to give it you want your heart on your sleeves we're gonna stop doing that so before i move on to the tarot i'm gonna pull a, a goddess message for y'all i'm not very familiar with this deck so i will be re uh, reading from the book I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna read from the book. But it's the African Goddess Rising Deck. I wanna pull um, a message here. Spirit, what message do you have for my Libras? What message do you have for my Libras? Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North, South, Node, or whatever, whatever, whatever. This is so beautiful. Yay, my y'all. Awakening. And then the number is 40. Like, you see this? You, you, this. And then to talk about, I ain't gonna lie, to be talking about how you need to keep your water to yourself so that you can fill your cup. This is a whole ocean. This is a whole lot of birthing a new pathway, receiving a new light, the divine here leading you towards greatness but that's just my interpretation for what i'm seeing in this card from what i was seeing previously let me see okay so this is the goddess of awakening yoruba nigeria the temple is the high priestess the element is water goddess yemaya controls the ocean the amniotic fluid that nurtures us before we know ourselves the healing loving energy of this yoruba mother orisha deity never leaves you 
her guidance for you is to wake up awaken now to your true self are those tears of joy or are those tears of sorrow regardless let them out emma y'all swallows your tears embodiment the embodiment of this card is you are vibrating at a higher frequency so you see everything differently this is god is rising you are waking up and once you have experienced awakening you can never go back to not knowing the path of awakening is not straight it's not comfortable nor is it easy like oh my god however says you have chosen to lift the veil and have a real relationship with the divine you didn't come to transcend this world while you're living in it you came here to dig into the soil plant yourself and grow this ascension is your divine purpose your goddess declaration your goddess affirmation that's what that pretty much means i am receiving and radiating love did you not hear that I am receiving. The key to that is receiving and radiating love. Instead of you pouring out, giving, <laughs> baby, you are receiving and radiating love. And not only is you pouring into yourself, the divine is pouring into you as well. Like, that's a beautiful card. I love it. I love this for you, Libras. I do. I do. I mean, I'm a Libra too, so I could take heed to the message with it today. You know, you know, you know. I'm going to pull some tarot, see what you guys got going on. And then I'm going to leave. Leave about your energy. Get up out your space. Slide up out your business and start trying to tell you what to do. It really ain't me. It's the divine. I allow them to use me as a vessel. Okay. So, Spirit, what advice do you have for Libras? What advice do you Somebody is very stubborn. They're needing for you to release being stubborn and to allow change to occur. When you allow change to happen in your life, baby, oh, it is the most beautiful yet uncomfortable transformational thing that you can experience. Like, I, I can say firsthand, there was a lot of things that I thought that I wanted, but when I just let go of control and that spirit take the wheel, it was amazing. Amazing. What advice do you have for my Libra spirit? You all got your nine of pentacles energy. So yeah, give, give to yourself. Pour into you. Go live your best life. Explore. Like the nine of pentacles is being secure financially, confident. Uh, also, it's a card that represents being single, independent you know things like that so some of you could definitely be stepping into embracing more of the single life they also want you to come up out your head and let go of this worry the only thing that's holding you back from like getting to where you want to be or seeing the things that you want to see is yourself literally like the only thing that's holding you back from this new beginning is you it's it's all within your mental space like you all good financially like everything will flow and then remember this nine of pentacles is also a reminder that money is energy your energy is your currency okay so tend to every angle of your currency and enjoy yourself and deliver inner fulfillment to you because although this card do not reflect like cups, it still gives the energy of refreshment. It gives a breath of fresh air. It gives a beautiful breeze. It gives enjoying the sunlight because technically she's outside. She's happy. She's cooking in an open field. There's herbs around. Certain herbs create purities within the air, fresh air. So it's like this card is giving every angle because the happiness is joy. Joy is derived from your emotions so yeah 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 yeah. the justice is here as well so a lot of you are awakening from hmm, what you thought was the way that things should have been and learning to embrace how they should be and giving yourself more of everything that you deserve something is coming in quite fast for you as well so long as you allow it 
So long as you allow it and take the leap of faith and let go of the things that are no longer serving you, get rid of the people that are no longer meant to be around you, you will be able to move to calmer waters. Things will make more sense for you. You will have more peace. Your cups will be more full. Your finances will be on point, baby. Like you will be good. You will be great. Might be a little lonely. I ain't gonna lie. You might get a little lonely, but that's where you also get stronger spiritually, mentally, physically, all around. Like you will you'll be very wholesome. And you'll be having some of the best times of your life. Like, don't think that you're gonna be having it's gonna be dull just because you didn't let go of some shit. No, baby, you gonna <laughs> living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. Hey, okay. You you really gonna be like living your life. Everything is gonna be amazing for you. So I think I'm gonna leave this here, Libra. Yeah, a balance of equal giving and equal taking. I'm going to leave it here. You're going to turn everything around. Everything is going to work out in your favor. And you're going to learn to let go of these people that don't serve you your highest good. Because, I mean, why would we want to deal with that anyways? Baby, please. Baby, please. Baby, please. Baby, please. So, I call all your power back to you today from this moment forward. I rebuke anything and anyone that chooses to want to step into your energy that does not mean your highest good, whether it's spiritually or physically. With that being said, I love you. I'll see you later. If you like this reading, make sure that you like it. Comment below. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Bye.